Hi folks, it's coffee time. But it's not morning coffee, this is afternoon coffee, and this afternoon I want to talk to you about money. There are a lot of YouTube videos about money. There's how to make it, how to spend it, how to save it, how to invest it, how to figure out if you've got enough of it. Um, to retire or whatever else you want to do, but that's not what I want to talk to you about today. Today I want to talk to you about Mexican money. I got a comment, a question, how long did it take me after moving to Mexico years ago before I got comfortable with pesos instead of thinking in US dollars? And my answer was, that I still think, even after all these years, in terms of dollars, we're always checking the exchange rate and mentally calculating how many dollars does 500 pesos equal, for instance. 500 pesos at an exchange rate of 20 pesos to one dollar would be $25 for the 500 pesos. And the reason that we do that is because our income is still in dollars. Anyway, uh, I thought I'd talk to you today about the, uh, the colorful Mexican money and some of the coins too, and uh, give you some of the history of the people who are pictured on the money. Please enjoy my stories or whatever else might be on my mind today. I'm going to zoom in for you so that you can get a good look at these, but I wanted to show you that from the 1,000 peso note down to the 20 peso note, each one gets progressively smaller. The 1,000 peso note is exactly the same size as a U.S. dollar. The 500, um, there's a new one out, and it's blue. Anyway, uh, like the bills, the coins get smaller and smaller. Ten, five, two, one, and these smaller ones here. And we'll talk about those individually, but let's talk about the bills first. The 1,000, 500, 200 pesos, 100 pesos, 50 pesos, and 20 pesos. On the 20 peso note is Benito Juarez, and he was Mexico's only indigenous president. Uh, there's a quote on the bill there by him. It says, May the people and the government respect the rights of all, between individuals as between nations. Peace means respect for the rights of others. And moving up to the 50, we have Jose Maria Morel. And he was a Catholic priest who joined Miguel Hidalgo in the Mexican Revolution. And after Hidalgo was uh, executed, about a year after they got the revolution going, um, Morelos picked up the torch and carried it on. There's a quote on the bill from him, Slavery shall be forever forbidden, as shall cast distinctions, leaving everyone equal. One American shall be distinguished from another only by his vices and his virtues. And after living in Mexico for 20 years, I have to tell you that um, that kind of describes how Mexicans have treated me. Moving up to the hundred, this is uh, 
Net zo... <laughs> Net zo wat grotel. Uh, I'm going to go with that. Try saying that um, real fast three times with your English speaking tongue. Netzahuacot was the Aztec king of what is now Mexico City before the Spanish came. And uh, there's a quote from him on the bill. I love the song of the mockingbird, the bird of 400 voices. I love the color of the jade stone and the intoxicating scent of flowers. But more than all of those, I love the most my brother, man. Next we have a lady, Senora Juana Inez de la Cruz. She was a nun who lived during Mexico's colonial period. She was a prolific uh, writer and poet, and it's said that when she passed, her writings and her poetry rose from the ashes of religious condemnation, so she is known today as the Mexican Phoenix. She wrote, Foolish men who accuse women without reason, without seeing that you create the very faults that you identify. The 500 peso note has two pictures on it. On the front is Diego Rivera, and on the back, Frida Kahlo. And uh, they were two of Mexico's most celebrated artists and personalities. And if you want to know more about the two of them and their tempestuous marriage, um, watch the movie Frida. It's one of Lynn's favorite movies. Diego wrote, it has been said that the revolution did not need art, but that art needs the revolution. This is not true. The revolution needs revolutionary art. And finally, we have the 1,000 peso note. You probably won't run into one of these in Mexico. They're not widely circulated. I had to go to the bank and ask for this one, and they gave it to me. Well, they didn't give it to me. I had to trade two of those Frida Kahlo, um, Diego Rivera notes for it. Miguel Hidalgo is probably Mexico's most celebrated historical figure. Uh, he's the father of Mexican independence, and as a Catholic priest, he launched the country's movement for independence by ringing the bells of his church and delivering a speech called the Grito de Independencia. It was a cry for independence, and he did this in 1810. That was the revolution that reclaimed the rule of Mexico from the Spanish. Hidalgo was captured and executed in 1811, uh, about a year after he started the movement. But the revolution continued. The thousand peso note features a line from Hidalgo's famous Grito. He wrote, Without our homeland and freedom, we will always be a long way from true happiness. Well, there isn't a lot to know about the coins. This is uh, 10 pesos, and um, at today's exchange rate, that's like between 50 and 60 cents. At 10 to 1, it would be a dollar, but the exchange rate's real good on the Mexican pesos right now. Um, the 5 peso coin is about the size of a quarter, and worth only slightly more than a quarter at today's exchange rate. The 2 peso, and um, a little bit bigger than a U.S. dime, and 1 peso. And then you have all of these centavos, 10 centavos, 20, 50. You don't uh, use these a lot. A lot of businesses just round it off to the nearest peso. And the only thing I can tell you in general about Mexican coins is that 
They accumulate in your pocket until your pants are so heavy you need a new belt. I probably invested more money in this video than any other video I've made. <laughs> well, that might not be true. Uh, I guess the one that I named New Ride, New Plan when I bought my 40-foot Monaco diesel pusher motorhome. Uh, yeah, that was a little more invested in that video. And that yeah, was dollars. So, I hope that would help some of you who are thinking about visiting Mexico. And uh, you might have a little heads up on how the money works. It's been a while since I said thank you for being loyal to my channel and subscribing and leaving comments. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you like me, give me one of those thumbs up. And please subscribe and hit that little bell so you know when I post next. Please share me with your friends on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed what was on my mind today.